Adding sound effects to your videos can really help bring your footage to life. They're a great way to help tell a story, they increase production value, and create a much more immersive experience for your audience. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a crash course in sound effects so that you can level up your videos and make your footage stand out. It's coming up. Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can add sound effects to your footage. Sound design is such an important part of the production process, but it's often overlooked, especially when first starting out. Today, I'm gonna to show you where you can get all of your sound effects for free. I'm gonna show you how to edit those sound effects and give you some creative tips to help keep your audience engaged. Today's video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. This is where I'm going to be getting all of my music and sound effects for this tutorial. I will leave a link to a free trial to Epidemic Sound in the description below. Download as much as you like, join in at home, but first, what is sound design? Well, put simply, it's creating what your audience hears. This could be created by using natural sounds, music, sound effects, but why would you need it? Well, there are a number of reasons why you might need to use sound design or add sound effects to your footage. The first is if the footage that you're working with has terrible audio. Maybe there was a lot of wind on the day, maybe there was a lot of background noise, or even worse, maybe you forgot to plug your microphone in and your footage has got no audio at all. This is where sound design comes in. Equally, sound design can be used to help Help tell a story. It can increase production value, help keep an audience engaged, and make your footage stand out. So, how can we use sound effects to help tell a story? Well, let me give you an example. I'm going to take this ball here, and I'm going to throw it over there like this. Now, you didn't see where that ball went, but you assume it smashed through a window because you heard it smash through a window. It didn't, it landed on a cushion and I added a sound effect, but that is the power of sound design. Let me give you one more example. This time, I'm gonna take this hammer and I'm gonna throw it over there like this. Now we've got two sound effects. We've got the glass breaking and the cat screeching. So by simply just adding one more sound effect, we've now told even more of a story. You can add sound effects to any type of footage. It doesn't matter what camera you shoot on. It doesn't matter what editing software you use. The principles are exactly the same. Always ask yourself, how can I improve my footage by adding sound? Sometimes this might be a simple case of just adding music. A cinematic B-roll sequence without cinematic music isn't going to be very cinematic. Cinematic. Boring. Mm. But add a cinematic film score and all of a sudden you've got something that looks, feels and sounds much more cinematic. So what are some go-to sound effects and how can we use them? Well, let's start off with the sound effect that I use by far the most, which is the whoosh sound effect. Epidemic Sound have a ton of these. You can download and experiment as much as you like. Now a whoosh sound effect works really well with any type of fast camera movement. For example, I could whip my camera from one shot to another and add a whoosh sound effect to help emphasize that movement. Equally, I could be pushing my camera forward but want to speed up this footage. I could add a speed ramp and a whoosh sound effect. Much better, much more engaging, and much more fun to watch. Adding sound effects is about as easy as it gets. Simply line up your sound effect with your footage and you are done. I find the best thing to do is to build up an archive of sound effects that you can just dip into at any given moment. Also, here's a quick tip for finding what you're looking for much quicker. Find something that you like, music or sound effects, then click Find Similar, just here. You'll then be taken to a list of similar music or sound effects, very useful and a huge time saver. Now, on my timeline here, I have five short video clips. and I'm gonna show you five different ways that you could use sound design to help bring each one to life. Now the five clips that I have on my timeline here are all stock footage and generally stock footage doesn't have any audio so let's fix this. Okay shot number one let's start nice and simple we have a shot of some seagulls at the beach let's bring this footage to life. Okay I'm gonna head over to Epidemic Sound and search for seagulls we've got plenty of options let's download a few now let's add some ambient beach sounds and some waves crashing. Now I'm simply gonna place all three of these sounds underneath my footage and this is the result. And of course we could add music, let's go for something inspirational, and we've now got this. A 
Okay, clip number two, we have the hustle of New York City. Now, let's look at what we can see and think about what sounds would best go with this footage. Well, let's start off really simple and type in New York City into the search bar. And we now have literal sounds from New York City. Perfect. Look, also we have an ambulance with its lights on. So let's add some sirens to this footage. I want traffic moving, horns beeping, the works. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Much better. Okay, for the next clip, I've already added the sound effect to this footage of a very wet and miserable looking day, but can you notice anything different or unusual about this sound? Listen carefully. Just sounds like rain, right? Well, in fact, it's actually the sound of bacon frying, but because you saw the rain, your brain told you that it was rain that you were hearing. So you don't necessarily need to use the sound effects that match the footage that you're working with. The sound could be of something completely different. The sound just needs to work with your footage. Okay, shot number four, we've got a very stormy sea, a big wave rising up and crashing down. It looks windy, so let's add some wind sound effects. Now let's set a dark an ominous mood by adding some dark and ominous music. Let's also add some sounds of waves crashing and just as this big wave crashes down, let's add an explosion sound effect of some kind. Let's add the sound of thunder cracking. This will work well and will really help emphasize the wave crashing down. Now the footage is in slow motion, so I want a sound that matches. Let's go with this one here, thunder crack. So we're now starting to get much more creative. Okay, so we've got our footage and underneath we've added music and three sound effects. We've got wind, waves, and a thunder crack just as the wave crashes down. Let's take a look. Okay, great, and as you can see, we're now starting to layer up our sound effects, and you can take this to any level you like. You could mix your sound effects with all types of different music. You could go happy and upbeat, epic, dreamy, or suspenseful, the choice is yours. Okay, the final clip, let's see one more example. Okay, we've got a shot of some wine being poured, not particularly exciting, so how can we make this footage much more interesting? Let's start telling a story and being much more creative. Okay, we know the basics now, let's start by searching for some sounds of drinks being poured. There we go, loads to choose from, let's go with this one here. Now this could be the kitchen of a restaurant, but let's make this a house party. Let's find some house party crowd sounds. Yep, great. And it would be a pretty dull party if there wasn't any music. So let's go with a nice dance anthem. This one looks good. Let's go with that one. Let's take a look. Much better. We have instantly created an atmosphere by simply using music and sound effects. I don't know where this party is, but I want to be there. But how can we get a little bit more creative with this shot? Well, what about if this shot was part of a short film and we wanted to rewind this scene back to the start of the day in a creative way? Well, we could start by reversing the clip so that the wine then gets sucked back up out of the glass and into the bottle, but what about sound? Well, let's reverse the sound of the drink being poured to match the footage. Not bad. Okay, right now let's speed up the last part of this footage so that the drink gets sucked up a bit quicker. I'm going to do this by adding a speed ramp at the end, and I'm going to do the same with the audio. Let's take a look. Okay, not bad, but it's still missing something. Let's add a riser. What's a riser? Well, let me show you because there's a ton here. A riser is a sound effect that starts off quiet and then gets louder and stops. Risers work really well for ending a scene. Now let's add our party crowd sound effect and our dance anthem and see what we've got. <laughs> and end scene. So as you can see, by simply adding music and sound effects to your footage, you can dramatically change the feel, mood, story, and this really helps bring your films and videos to life. Be sure to check out Epidemic Sound. I will leave a link to a free trial in the description below. Download as much music and sound effects as you like. If you found this video useful, do let me know by giving it the old thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, learn more about video production, you can do that by watching one of my other videos just over there. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.